Just my family in general, we're all very competitive. The quest for excellence begins with passion. Love doing this, actually. It's my favorite part of the whole thing. For Tegan Boucher. Oh, I like to call it a mohawk. An 80s hairdo on the hind end of her favorite steer is a good start. Because when they look good, it makes me look good. And just like prize calves have good genetics, this kid's also got a winning gene. I'm a seventh generation rancher. I'm very competitive and Everything that I do, I like to be the best. When something affects Tegan's work, she learns and listens. Almost any time I'm around other people, we actually end up talking about wolves and the effect it has on us. In December 2023, Colorado Parks and Wildlife reintroduced wolves near her family's ranch in Grand County. And that's how ranch work you, would you like to hear about my project? turned into school work. Last December, they brought in 10 new wolves. I was really like intrigued in this. Competitions don't scare Tegan. Like, you can see the wolf activity. Neither does presenting a tough topic at her school's science fair. So I did the effects of the transfer of wolves on the fertility rates of Grand County cattle. Great. We have a ton of community members and family members and kids. Teacher Emmy Lou Harmon is proud of turnout and Tegan. I think that's the biggest thing is that we have kids do things that they're passionate about. It's been a super heated topic and I feel very passionate about I think it. It's important for these kids to show people in different areas how amazing that they are and the quality work that can be done even in a you know rural small district. With help from teachers and a veterinarian. But like as you can see here, Tegan found cattle pregnancy rates in a small sample of ranches looked different in 2024 with wolves nearby. With the new wolf introduction, they have bred way worse. Yes. But then one of the ranchers that I tested, they actually did better, but they had no wolf activity. But my hypothesis was that it would have negative effects on their fertility rates. I was actually correct about that and that was super cool. I've never actually I've done science fair for so long and I've never had a hypothesis that I was actually right about. So that was that was super cool and that was really fun. Tegan's neighbors aren't the only people interested. I am no wildlife biologist, but I have been studying the effects of the CPW transfer of wolves for my 2025 science fair project. At a Colorado Parks and Wildlife Commission meeting, Tegan's testimony sparked curiosity. That I think your engagement is really powerful. So I right, please send the commission your uh, report that you do from school. Big stage or school library, the platform doesn't matter. Being a younger woman, I may not be taken seriously, but I have put a lot of work into this project, and I do think that it is something to look into. I felt very passionate about it, and I'm, I'm actually really happy that I get to share it with the public. Tegan is a study in how strong competitors lead with heart. It's good seeing you. <laughs> it's great seeing you. Good luck with your project. Thank you. I really appreciate you. <laughs>